Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Puro Sound Labs Puro Gamer Volume Limited gaming headset. Now, this is a short review to talk about a headset that might be slightly interesting from a brand you've probably never heard of. It's a wired gaming headset that works with console and PC and your mobile because it comes with a USB and 3.5 mil jack connection so you can choose between the two and it's quite cool because it's actually connected to the cable so it's easy to choose between those and have them both at the same time so you don't have to plug one in and remove the other one they're always there it also has a interesting design to it that includes a really tight fit as you can see uh, an adjustable headband that adjusts in size but the ear cups don't twist much so it really feels quite clamped to your head it has these protein leather ear cups and a detachable bendable microphone that's a really funky blue led light on the end of it the microphone is reasonably capable and does a pretty good job as you can see and it's a plug and play headset it has a little control box on it that allows you to mic mute and adjust the volume really easily. It also has this weird little blue LED on it that flashes constantly when it's on for some reason. I don't know why they've designed it like that, it's really annoying. But it's plug and play which means there's no software or drivers to install or download so it's really easy to use in that way. It also is quite interesting because it has 7.1 virtual surround sound but the main feature or the draw of it is the volume limiting on it so it's set to only go up to a maximum of 85 decibels which means you are not going to damage your eardrums while using it now initially when I heard about that I thought that would mean that it would be too quiet in games and all the games would just be really quiet and you wouldn't be able to hear what's going on but actually it works quite well to deliver a reasonably good sound and to limit the top levels but it does it in a way that you don't feel like you're not hearing all the sounds you should be so I've been using it with the usual games I'm playing playing Quincy Royale and other games like that to get an idea of how it would compare with other headsets I've tried. I'm actually pretty impressed by it. It limits your sound levels, so a really good example of that is the boombox and Cuisine Royale is ridiculously loud. Now if you've not played you won't know, but there's a musical boombox that you can carry around with you in the game that you can turn radio stations on. With other headsets it's painfully loud, it's really loud. With this one it isn't. And what that is, so it sort of levels out all the levels so that you can hear the sounds at a good level and a good amount of sound but it won't hurt your ears you don't feel like your ears are hurting and you're not damaging your eardrums so if you're worried that playing games might lead to you having hearing loss in the future then this is an option to consider because it's interesting in that way also has a pretty decent look to it. it includes this really funky ear cups with the blue LED light around the outside on either side and you have like I said the mic has that light on it and it's quite comfortable and a nice bit of padding however I found in a similar way to the Corsair Virtuoso which by the way is a lot more expensive and probably a lot more capable check out the review and unboxing of that headset this headset's ear cups are not quite deep enough and not quite big enough for my ears so I find after a hour or two my ears start to ache and it becomes quite painful the cable is also quite short as you can see it's quite taut here it's uh, basically going down to my PC which is only just behind me and I've had to sit right close to my PC in order to do this video however the microphone you're getting the voiceover for this video using that microphone is fairly capable the sound at 7.1 is really good the range is really good and it's fantastic that it protects your ears I think that's the main appeal it's also got a really stylish design to it and if you like a headset that sort of clamps to your head and doesn't feel like it's going to fall off then this is definitely it it's uh, really well it's really tight there is no bend there's no bend at all in the ear cups though unlike a lot of other headsets I've tried recently where you've got a flex and tilt to the ear cups to make it fit nicer in your head the way you want it this just is one size tight as anything on your noggin and it's not going anywhere not necessarily a bad thing but yeah, quite uncomfortable in some regards however the features of this headset and the price because it comes in at around 99 dollars i think 
and 79 pounds or something so it's under a hundred uh, obviously that's going to vary depending on where you're purchasing it. it means it's actually pretty feature rich the ability to use it on other devices as well because you have a 3.5 mil jack so you can plug it into your switch or your phone or console so it'll work on other things and plug and play we'll just plug in straight into your pc no software to miss about with just default sound and it's pretty good it's 50 mil drivers deliver a really good rich sound experience hope you enjoyed this video be sure to check out the unboxing to get a closer view of what the headset's like and what it looks like and all the different close-ups of that and the inside of the ear cups thanks for your time this has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos, as well as taking a look in the description for links and Enver information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.